So if you're installing either one of these Sirius or XM, XM Direct or something like this which is an FMDA25 into your car stereo, there's a couple things that you're going to want to know. First off, let me just start by showing you the FM Direct adapter that I'm using. Now pretty much uh, all there is to this thing, okay, is you got a plug. This plug here is going to plug into the, the dock of your XM or your Sirius satellite tuner, okay? Now that's going to feed the audio right into here, into this module. Now once you have the FM station preset on the output of your, of your Sirius or XM tuner, it's going to basically force the audio through that frequency into your existing car radio. So this end is going to plug into your existing or aftermarket stereo that you're integrating with. And then the female end is going to go to the car side that you have unplugged. So the factory plug, that goes in there to the new radio or your existing radio. Audio in from the XM or Sirius adapter, okay? So that's the basic foundations of how this stuff works. Now, if it was that simple, I wouldn't have all this here stuff, which there's more, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, that can apply to almost any car. Uh, there's so many cars, especially all the later cars, and when I say later cars, I'm basically talking about 95 and up. That's when all these antenna adapters started coming into play. Okay, but I'm going to explain and show you all the different antenna adapters and tell you the names of each one. So if you wanted to take a note so that we can go to our site or wherever and go out and get which ones you need, that's fine. But I'm going to show you some other tricks because that's what I do. This here is... A Y splitter, okay. I don't know if you even knew, but they make these for not just you know RCAs and stuff, but they also make it for antennas. You got one here, one female, you got two males. So, for instance, if you had this FM director, di direct adapter, and you didn't want to have to leave your radio on that frequency, say you wanted to set it to preset one for that useless station because they always are set on like 88.1, 88.3, 89.1, all the useless stations with train no music on anyway. You don't want to have to eat, keep toggling back to that, you know, it's kind of like a hassle. So what you could do is you could basically take this, plug it into the Y splitter, and have that doing its job in the background, and leave this plugged into your radio. So even if you forget to turn it off, it'll still work. So that's a little trick that I wanted to share. It's good to know. So now you know. So let me get into these antenna adapters really quick. I'm not going to bore you to death, but I'm going to get through them one by one. I'll start with the most popular and I'll work my way to the least favorite. These here are GM antenna adapters. They take a mini universal and convert it to a standard. So this is what you would have on the factory. This is what the stereo you're going to have is going to be looking for. So it's going to convert this to this. So this is going to plug into the adapter. And it's going to convert that little plug into the female to a male universal. These two are called them. This way, separate them. If you were just throwing in a new radio and that was all you were doing, you would just get this a 40 GM10. If you were doing a reverse, because you need to add an RF modulator like with this adapter here, you would get the 40 GM20. If you put the two together and you buy them as a combo, just for your information, it's called a 40 GM30. GM's done. These here, I'll show you about the blue wire in a second. These are Hondas. Okay, so this one here would go to the factory side, go into the, the radio. The blue wire has to get accessory power, like, you know, either accessory ignition, something like that, because it's actually an active antenna. It requires an external 12 volt source to, to work properly. So you need to pay attention to that. So this one here would be a 40 uh, HD10, and the opposite side would be a 40 HD20. The two together, 10 plus 20, it's a 40 HD30. Pretty simple, right? Now these guys are for Volvos. Don't really sell these very much, but nonetheless, Volvo's a good car, and it's, it's worthy of talking about. Same kind of deal, male and female. You got a 40 VL10 and a VL20. And of course, the pair is a VL30. That's your Volvo. 
moving along we got the Lexus for the people who like the Lexus we got the 40 dash LX 10 which would be this one and yeah I got this one the factory opposite side which is the LX 20 the two packs 40 dash LX 30 as the Lexus and these guys here are the Nissans big ones right big sucker this here would be the side that goes into the factory deck the big mean looking prongs these just because there's two here these are diversity antennas you don't need to use both but if your car is so equipped you're going to want to use both of them because the car comes equipped with two little antennas one in the front one in the back it's kind of like an infinity Nissan thing so these here are the 40-NI10 and the NI20 and there's also a later version of these which I didn't bring out with me because I, I guess I forgot one sorry but those are the NI11 and the NI22 I believe now these are Fords Fords, Lincoln, Mercury uh, what else is there? Ford, Lincoln, Mercury I guess that's it now these guys are FD10 and FD20 now these are not found behind a radio like in any other car. These are found at the amplifier mounted in the trunk typically. Okay, so in order to utilize these, you do need to also purchase something like this. Um, you would need probably two 25 foot antenna extensions and we sell these, you know, they're only like six or seven bucks. You need a couple of these to extend it. Install these two adapters so, so that way you can do your FM modulator or your FM direct or iPod or whatever it is that you're doing with the, with the Ford. Now we got these guys. Now these are for the Chrysler Dodge Jeep. This is the side you would use to install an aftermarket radio. Chrysler to Universal Mail. You got the opposite end with the female. These are the 40 CR10 and the CR20. CR30 for the pair. This one here, I'm sorry, but I don't have the other end. These are EU10s, these are for European vehicles. Um, you find these in uh, VW, Audi, some BMWs, stuff like that. Just use your imagination. The opposite end would be uh, the VW, I'm sorry, the EU20. But this here is an EU10. If you want it both sides, be the 40 dash EU30. While we're on the European style, we'll go to these. These here are for Volkswagen. This here is a 40 dash VW10. You would use this to install a new radio or adapt. This would be the opposite. That's a 40 dash VW20. And again, following the same theme, it would be a 40 dash VW30 for the pair. And I think that that's about it. So if you're going to do one of these guys, if you're not sure what your car uses, what application, of course you could send me a message and ask me. I'll be happy to help you. Otherwise, you can get all this information at Metra online. It's if you can't if you're dyslexic and you can't spell like like me, it's M E T R A Electronics.com. There's a fit guide or a lookup guide, and it can tell you pretty much what which one is which and which one you need to get for your car. Uh, I'm sure we'll throw up a link on our video, show you where you can get them from us if you want to get them. We'd appreciate the biz, and that's it.